डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ मॉडल नंबर फाइव यू दैट इज नैनो मटेरियल्स मूविंग टू दी द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर इज नैनो स्केल मटेरियल्स बिगिनिंग विद द फर्स्ट वन फुल रेंज सेकेंड वन विल स्टडी अबाउट कार्बन नैनो ट्यूब्स एंड थर्ड वन विल स्टडी अबाउट दी थर्ड टाइप ऑफ नैनो स्केल मटेरियल इज ग्राफिंग्स beginning with fullerin you see the fullerin molecules how they looks they looks like a spherical soccer ball structure so fullerin synthesis are synthesized by heating graphite in an electric arc in the presence of the inert gases like helium or argon the sooty material form by the condensation of graphite it has the formula of cn molecules where n stands mainly number of carbon atoms present in the molecule where majorly we are able to get c60 with a smaller quantity of c70 and traces of fullerenes consisting of even number of carbon atoms up to 350 or above so fullerenes can be of different types it depends upon the number of carbon atoms present in single molecule it may be c60 c70 c76 c78 and c80 etc depending upon the number of carbon atoms present in the individual molecule you can observe all the molecule of fullerene they are containing even number of carbon atoms the most important about the fullerene is what c60 containing fullerene it contains 60 number of carbon atoms which is commonly known as buckminster fullerene because the scientist who design or who express the synthesis of C60 fullerene first time by Buckminster hence uh, the name of the fullerene is C60 is called Buckminster fullerene and this fullerene molecule it looks like a cage like structure with 60 number of carbon atoms and has the look of soccer ball and it is also called Buckminster fullerene and it is in spherical shape and it is also called bucky ball in short so c60 fullerene it contains 20 number of six membered rings 20 number of six membered rings and 12 numbers of five membered rings in single molecule and one more important thing the six membered rings are fused with six membered or five membered rings six member rings are always fused with six member rings or five member but uh, five member rings are always fused with six member only and uh, c60 fullerene can be used excellent microscopic ball bearing and lubricant and catalyst in various industrial applications now let us discuss about the properties of fullerene they have got the high tensile strength high electrical conductivity high heat conductivity high ductility the fullerene c60 can be used as semiconductor or conductor or superconductor under specific conditions and uh, these fullerenes are penetrable to all elements under normal circumstances let us discuss about the applications of fullerenes in which areas we are able to use them in our day to day life so the fullerenes are used in for making the lubricants adhesives cosmetics catalysts they can be used to make the electrodes in the fuel cells they are used in the drug delivery systems they are used for the preparation of superconductors they are used in sensors 
like gas sensor or temperature sensors that are used for making the tennis racket frames and used for the conversion of diamond so this is what about the one of the nanoscale material that is about full ring let us move now second one is carbon nanotubes in short form we can write it as cnt so carbon nanotubes are graphite ruled to make cylindrical tubes the diameter of the tube is few nanometer made up of lattices of carbon atoms and the diameter of the tube is in nanometer while the length of the tube is in micrometer scale the diameter is in the nano scale whereas the length of the tube is in micrometer scale and it is having the hollow structure with the wall by one atom thick sheet of carbon you can see that the graphite when it is ruled it forms single wall carbon nanotube when many number of graphite sheets are ruled or you are able to get the multi wall carbon nanotubes hence so carbon nanotubes can be classified as single wall carbon nanotubes and multi wall carbon nanotubes single wall carbon nanotubes are represented as yes wnts and multi wall carbon nanotubes are represented as mwnts now let us discuss about the properties of nanotubes carbon nanotubes are at least 100 times stronger than the steel but only they have 1/6 of density as compared to the the steel in addition they conduct the heat and electricity they are far better as compared to the copper and carbon nanotubes are very tiny and they are physically strong then hence they have been used for a conducting devices and these carbon nanotubes are cylindrical carbon molecules have interesting properties so because of them they can be used in various applications in nanotechnology in electronics components in optics and other fields of the material science because of its potential and also it is used in architectural field for designing also now let us discuss about the properties of carbon nanotubes they have high thermal conductivity they have high electrical conductivity they have high tensile strength stiffness they are very elastic that means flexible they are highly flexible they can be bent considerably without the damage now let us discuss about some important applications of cntr they can be used to make baseball bats golf clubs car parts and swords and they have been used to make the storage of hydrogen in the fuel source carbon nanotubes are used to make the carbon nanotube space transistors in solar cells and ultra capacitors or super capacitors and cnts are also used in biomedical applications like in drug delivery system for the medical aspects now let us discuss about the last concept of nano scale materials is what the graphene this is the structure of the graphene you can observe that one atom thick sheet of carbon is called graphene the graphene is the allotropic carbon allotropic form of the carbon consisting of single layer of carbon atoms they have been arranged in the hexagonal lattice structure it means at leg at regular six corners you are finding six carbon atoms which are bonded with the neighboring hexagonal carbon uh, six member ring and uh, it is semi metal with small overlap between the valence band and conduction band hence it is used as a semiconductor graphene is essentially a single layer carbon in the form of graphite which is layered structure of hexagonal ring of carbon structure of that 
graphite and it is possible to synthesize individual layer of one atom thickness product is known as honeycombed lattice you can see that how the honeycomb what can see that after extraction of honey from that so that looks like a honeycombed lattice and each graphene molecule is fully planar in shape let us discuss about the properties of graphene it is the world's thinnest and strongest material it conducts better heat than all other metals hence it is used as greater for the conductor of electricity and it is optically transparent light can penetrate and it is dense and impermeable for all the gases let us discuss about the applications of graphene are as follows it is used in the manufacturing of unbreakable smartphones watches tennis rackets fast rechargeable batteries in the form of the electrodes and it is also used in the manufacturing of desalination membranes in reverse osmosis technique and surgical equipments and artificial implants and is used in the manufacture of super bullet proof vests for long lasting industrial lubricants and it is used for making of computer chips solar cells electric cars etc with this the chapter nanometals is completed thank you one and all